Giannis Adetokounmpo may not have scored 63 points in a scrimmage for Team Greece like this trolling Elon Musk X account reports, as he actually underwent arthroscopic knee surgery on July 5th and is considering missing the 2023 FIBA Americas World Cup. The footage you're watching is from last year where he dropped 27 against Croatia, improved soon-to-be sophomore Marjan Bochamp, did actually set a scoring record with 83 points in the crossover Pro-Am League, however, that was a real fact. Rookie head coach formerly of my hometown Toronto Raptors and Adrian Griffin was someone I expected the Raps to promote in the aftermath of Nick Nurse's firing. Stay tuned for every reason for why the Milwaukee Bucks may very well achieve exactly what the franchise accomplished for the first time in 50 years back in 2021 and win the 2024 championship. Nevertheless, they're setting themselves up yet again. But just over 17% of you watching are subscribed, so subscribe if you haven't already to help us on the journey to 100k. Thanks so much, back to the video. The freakiness of the greatest player in the history of time to come from the land of Greece and Giannis Adetokounmpo is beyond special, it's world championship proven. Three years ago around this time, Milwaukee was celebrating like there was no tomorrow. Only problem was, tomorrow occurred, and so did eventually the firing of their title-winning head coach, Mike Budenholzer, along with two consecutive seasons where the franchise was eliminated in or prior to the second round. Most heartbreakingly was their most recent exit at the hands of Jimmy Butler and the storybook eighth-seeded Miami Heat. Milwaukee flawlessly grinded through the overwhelming 82-game marathon, by finishing with an NBA most 58 wins, claiming them the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. However, Miami's Jimmy Butler would average 37.6 points in round one, fueling the heavy underdog heat to a gentleman's sweep, swiftly shocking Bucks fans across the world by eliminating Milwaukee in five. Things have definitely not gone Milwaukee's way in any sense, since securing their franchise's second ship in what's been, for the most part, a dreary history as an organization up until the last half-decade plus in the Adetokounmpo era. Nevertheless, as of right now, Milwaukee still owns one of basketball's most battle-tested 15-man units, as with Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez, Robin Lopez, Jay Crowder, and Pat Connaughton, the Bucks have six players aged 30 or above heading into the 2023-2024 campaign. The best leader of them all, however, is not but 29, as when asked if this past 2022-2023 season was a failure, Giannis had this response. You asked me the same question last year, Eric, okay? Uh, do, you get, do you get the promotion every year on your job? No, right? So every year you work is a failure. Yes or no? No. Every, every year you work, you work towards something, towards a goal, right? Which is to get a promotion, to be able to uh, take care of your family, to be able, I don't know, um, provide the house for them or take care of your parents. You work towards a goal. It's not a failure. It's steps to success. Michael Jordan played 15 years, won six championships. The other nine years was a failure. That's what you're telling me. Oh, I'm asking you a question. Yes or no? Okay, exactly. So why are you asking me that question? It's a wrong question. There's no failure in sports. You know, there's good days, bad days. Some days, some days you are able to uh, be successful. Some days you're not. Some days it's your turn. Some days it's not your turn. And that's what sports is about. You don't always win. Some other other people's gonna win. And this year, somebody else is gonna win. Simple as that. We're gonna come back next year. Try to be better. Try to build good habits. Try to uh, play better. Not have a uh, ten day stretch with uh, playing bad basketball. You know, and hopefully we can win a championship. So 50 years from 1971 to 2021 that we didn't win a championship, it was 50 years of failures. No, it was not. It was steps to it. You know, and we were able to win one. Hopefully we can win another one. Additionally, the two-time MVP just made a trip to China, holding several practice sessions with some of the country's best up-and-coming talent. Giannis provided some keen verbiage in terms of motivation, discipline, having fun, and giving the adequate attention to detail. I was at your age one time. What are you, 15, 16, right? Number one. Okay. Media. When somebody comes into the, your basketball court, the basketball where you practice, you try to Try to showcase. You have nothing to prove to nobody. Nobody. Okay. Me, whenever I step on the court, I never disrespect the game of basketball. Never. I never. I don't care if it's cameras. I don't care what you are doing. Basketball is basketball. Okay. And I will try to help you guys as much as people helped me before. At the, at the end of the day, 
one of the most important things that I tell my brothers every day. You pay attention to details. People, when they see basketball, they see this whole thing, the whole picture. The best to ever play this game, they see pieces. Always, always, always have your ears open, your eyes open to see the game of basketball. You will, if you do that for the rest of your career, you will understand the game of basketball better than most of the people in this uh, planet. And last thing, game of basketball is fun. Use your imagination. Sometimes when you play, there's nobody guarding you. Okay? The pass, give me the pass. It's not this. Nobody's guarding you. It's, it's, you gotta imagine that somebody's guarding you. Always use your imagination in everything you do in basketball. That's what basketball is. Rolling with the fake news for a minute, and let's play along by breaking down that Giannis is locked in for all of revenge, ring number two, and a gold medal at the World Cup, as an exhibition match against Croatia saw the Greek freak drop a 63-piece with Nuggets, but he most scarily racked up a vicious 22 rebounds, 12 assists, 8 blocks, 5 steals, most incredibly on 22 for 29 shooting from the floor, 7 for 11 shooting from deep, and 12 of 13 shooting from the charity stripe. If that doesn't scare the rest of the association, then nothing will. I mean, damn. You are fake news. In addition to the in-depth breakdown about Giannis, we briefly mentioned the poised plus 30 grizzled veterans in Holiday, Middleton, the Lopez brothers, Connaughton, and Crowder. But you may be wondering, what about the youth? The 22-year-old 6'6", 200-pounder of Native American descent out of Yakima Valley College in Marjon Beauchamp may be very well prepared to become a champ in Wisconsin. In 2021, Isaiah Thomas set the record for the most points scored in Jamal Crawford's crossover Pro-Am with an 81-piece two years later, and Marjon posted an 83-piece. This past season in his first year in the association, in limited minutes, he posted modest production as Beauchamp averaged 5.1 points and 2.2 rebounds per game, with splits of 39.5% shooting from the field, 33.1% shooting from the three-point line, and 73% shooting from the foul line. He suited up in 52 games, started 11 of them, all in which he averaged just over 13 minutes per night. Beauchamp did also spend six outings with the Wisconsin Herd, the Bucks G League affiliate, where he would post an impressive 19.3 points and 6.3 rebounds per game, with splits of 43.2, 30.4, 100. For those calling his performance at the crossover Pro-Am a fluke, the fact that he scored 83 would be insane in any game of basketball, but Jamal Crawford's Pro-Am gives way to a flurry of the NBA's best talent every single year, making it that much more noteworthy that this evidently developed soon-to-be second-year pro in Beauchamp set such a record. The reason Marjan being able to post such a performance is a tremendous sign if you're a Bucks fan is the fact that Beauchamp will be tasked with more responsibility in this upcoming season. Because while the Bucks have a sniper out of Northern Iowa in AJ Green, and a slowly developing prospect out of Iowa State, who I made a video on a while back, and my fellow Canadian Lindell Wigington. Aside from those two players, Marjan is the only member of this Bucks roster that's at or under the age of 25. Coach Adrian Griffin will need Beauchamp to consistently provide a youthful vibrancy in terms of giving Milwaukee energy on the glass, athletic defensive fortitude, and general aggressiveness. Only the proper mix of veterans and youth equate to the ever-so-prized championship-winning formula that each of the 30 teams in the association are looking for, so Marjan's sophomore progression will therefore be a big piece to the puzzle. If Beauchamp's development is legit, the big four of Giannis, Middleton, Holiday, and Lopez can stay healthy, and the team's X-Factor slash fan favorite, Big Bobby Portis, can be the chemistry spark plug that he was in the 2021 title run the Bucks could very well win the championship. Next year, it's just about managing their expectations through the grind and having it at the front of their minds 24-7 that what really matters happens in April, May, and June. Let me know why or why not you think Milwaukee will win the 2024 chip down below in the comments section. I'm interested to know your take. 
this was D Flow, and I'll see you next video.